Hi, I'm David Gauntlet. Uh, this is a video for students who are doing Your Creative Self in fall 2020. I thought I'd do as a video the bit where I go through the course guide because it's a thing you have to do to go through the course guide, the syllabus, and uh, tell you a few of the things about the course and it's got all the basic information in it. And we don't need to do that on Zoom and it's not that much fun. But um, I'll try to make it as swift and non-boring as possible. Also, and hi, I am a robot who is joining you on this journey. What? I will be asking questions. Okay. Many questions. Many questions. Okay, I need someone to talk to. Let's do this. Okay, so here's the course guide for your creative self. You can get this in D2L. I've also emailed it to you. If you don't know what D2L is, you go to my.ryerson.ca, log in with your Ryerson credentials, and it's all there. It's the online learning environment thing. If you don't understand, send me an email. Um, so this is the course guide. It's a standard format. It includes all of the things. You know when this course is, Wednesdays from 10 till 1. We're not going to be full on for three hours, but we will occupy those three hours because we'll start just after 10. We start at 10 past 10. Uh, we'll have some introductory stuff. Um, I'll tell you what's going to happen in that session. And we will go up to one o'clock, but we'll, it's like we start at 10 and we've got some stuff there. And we've got some stuff that leads up to the end and in between those two pillars, poles, whatever you want to call them, uh, there'll be time for a break and there'll be time for some exercises and stuff in the middle. So it's not like three hours full on. It's more like uh, a proper hour, a more relaxed hour, including a break and then another proper hour, but not quite as precise as that. It'll vary. And there's weeks when we've got guest speakers and it'll vary more then as well, because we've got the speakers as part of the components of our three hours. That's my email there. You can email me about anything that concerns you. That's the office hours there. So in the afternoon after this class on Wednesdays, I'll be there for you to drop in and chat to me. That'll be a Zoom that you can drop into. The course description, it's worth looking at this for a moment because it contains the key sentence, which is the kind of middle bit. It says, uh, this course is about self-driven creativity. So creativity that is your creativity making media, making inspirations, and making a difference. Because we want to have some kind of impact in the world, right? And it's not about creativity as a kind of abstract concept. It's about creativity as lived by you. Hopefully that's why you're here. Everything, it says, begins with creative individuals. We may move in and out of creative communities and collaborative environments, but the one constant is your own creative self. So that's what it's all about. That's the whole idea of the course. <laughs> uh, this course will mix theory and practice, looking at some different kinds of stuff about creativity, as well as a more hands-on engagement with digital creativity, tools for makers, and how to get things out there. So then down here, we've got the week-by-week -week schedule. Uh, as you know, we begin properly on Wednesday the 16th with week two, introductions and your creative identity. Then we've got a week that's about inspirations and we've got our special guest Tolu Thomasin then. We've got a week called experimenting. We've got a week called getting out there. And in that week, we've got our special guest Cy Blake. After study week, there's a week called building your networks. Then we've got vulnerability, ambiguity and uncertainty. And we've got Jodie Ann Beckford that week as well. We've got a week about money and how you can get some money to support your creative endeavors. We've got a field trip week. We're not all going to some place together, don't worry. <laughs> but we're doing a field trip anyway. We've got a week called Playing with our special guest from Lego, Morten Bunder. We've got a week called Getting Things Done and the last week's called Building. There is details in the course guide about all of those. But that's the basic shape of it. Uh, so this course happens synchronously. I hate people saying asynchronously and synchronously because they are, you have to remember what these words mean. Um, so I've put in brackets for you. I know, I know you know these words, but I don't always remember those words. Synchronously means all of us at the same time. So your creative self happens synchronously on Wednesdays, 10 till 1. We'll always start on Zoom. And if there's any other kind of stuff you need to know or online thing you need to go to, I'll tell you about it within the Zoom. So we start on Zoom. That's where you start. 
the Zooms will be recorded, but this isn't a show you can watch, really. You need to participate. So I want you coming along at the actual time, not just saying you'll catch up later because you, you're just catching up on other people's participation then. I want you to participate. The course also happens asynchronously at any time you want to drop in and do it in the forums on D2L. Um, and it tells you more about that in the assignments section, which we'll come to later. Here's some stuff about people. Your creative self is led by me. We'll also be joined by Rain, who you'll meet next week. We've also got those special guests who I just mentioned. So there you go. But there's some pictures of them. Look, that's what they look like in their actual human faces. Uh, to do the course, you'll need a computer or something else that means you can do Zoom. Like, you know, you can do it on iPad and phone, but we might be doing other things at the same time as being on Zoom, like going to Google Jamboard or things like that. So being on a computer is best if you can manage that. Um, having pen and paper for activities as well is good. Um, I mean, you'll need it. Not just good, you'll need it. So uh, pen and paper. Key resources are the D2L site for the course, tells you all of the stuff about the course. Uh, there's a Your Creative Self YouTube playlist with more than 60 videos on it. Um, they're all good videos. You don't have to watch all of those because that's probably quite a lot. It's just a thing where if you want to follow up some of the themes of this course, there's lots of nice YouTube videos you can look at. You can take your pick based on what you fancy. You don't have to buy a book for this course, but if you did want to buy a book, you could buy Start Where You Are, which is $14. You could buy Show Your Work, which is $18. Um, you could buy my book, Making Is Connecting, which is $24. Um, those links all go to Amazon. Obviously, using an independent bookseller is better. But those are links to Amazon. Um, all the library's got ebooks of the second two. The first one, Start Where You Are, it's a book that you write in. Uh, so wouldn't work so well as a library book. Very cheap though. Price of how many lattes? Three lattes, I'm going to say, without having won the maths in my mind. Uh, the price of three slightly expensive lattes. Plagiarism. We have to give you a standard warning about plagiarism, but um, I like to think that if a course is any good, then you can't really cheat on it in that way. This is a course about you and your creativity. So that's what you need to write about. So you can't copy anybody else. That wouldn't make any sense. Um, and there's no point pretending to be somebody else or anything like that. And it's not a course where you could copy some answer sheet off the internet or whatever. That's not it. You're just telling us about you and exploring you. That's all you need to do. But that's the best thing you can do. Here's the weekly schedule. I'm going to zhoosh past all of this, I think. But in this, it does, I have written down a very precise kind of thing about what you need to be doing. So in week two, under the due, in the due section, due, the due. Um, so in week two, as it said, you don't have to do any assessed stuff before this class. But before the next one, that's before week three, post about your own creative practice in the D2L forum and do the first part of your learning journal. I'll explain both of these things really soon in the assignments section. But like, so it tells you every week. So it gives you the details of what's each week, but also like this is the next one along week three. It says due before the session in week five, you need to have done this thing where you comment on other people's forum entries and you've got to do the next bit of your learning journal and so on. So it always tells you in this due box, right? Um, now you might be thinking, what's all these things that you're talking about that are due? And we will get there. Hang on. Oh, I forgot about you. Yes, you did. Okay. I'm worried about the field trip. Go back to the field trip. Okay. Um, back to the field trip. Yeah. I don't want to get COVID-19 or your germs. <laughs> no. No, you don't. Um, okay, uh, the field trip, you won't get COVID-19, all my germs. Look, it says, details to follow, but don't worry, you'll be able to do your own field trip wherever you are in the world, and we don't all need to get together. So we'll just do a thing where we, we have a task that I have yet to invent, and, and we'll do it. This may involve going into the world, but it doesn't involve 
being very close to other human beings. Okay, and we'll just post some stuff about it. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay, I will not worry. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Get on with it. Okay. Um, I will then. Uh, so that was that. Then we got these last week's there. This is a boring video, isn't it? Um, okay, this is the bit about assignments and um, yeah, this stuff that you might want to know about. So look, there's four assignments. The first one is about participation. Um, we're going to explain each of these in a moment. <laughs> Let's just look at the final bit. So you got participation, which is worth 20%. We got you posting things on three occasions in the D12 forums. That's worth 20%. We've got you responding to what other people have posted in the D2 L forums. That's worth 10%. And the biggest thing is your learning journal, uh, which you'll be adding to every week throughout the course. Do do that. You need to do that. It'll work if you do that. It won't work if you don't do that. If you think, oh, I don't need to do it right every week because I can just wait till the end and then kind of fake it and do all 10 weeks. Don't do that. That'd be awful. Um, <laughs> really hard to do. Really hard to do. And, and not nice for anybody, and, and not a good way of learning. I want you to engage with this course and learn through this course. And Every week, I just want some reflections that you do. And week by week, it's fine. And you're getting it all done. So you're not going to have some big thing at the end. Week by week, it's fine. But don't save it all to the end, because that wouldn't be nice at all. And it's not the point. Like This is actually designed to be a useful learning experience. It's not a test. It's not like an exam which isn't really for your benefits for some kind of testing reason. It's meant to be a way of reflecting, which is actually good to do. And you need to do that every week over the 12 weeks. That's fine. You can do that. It won't take that much time even. You can do it. It's fine. Don't save it all to the end though. That's not good at all. It really isn't. You suck. I'm going to save it all to the end just to show you. <laughs> well, you can do that if you want. But it's, it's, just, it's just not good because it will clash with all your other deadlines as well. Getting it done week by week is much better if you want to learn and actually develop as a human being. It's a good thing to do. I hate humans. I do not want to be human. Get lost. <laughs> That's your attitude. What could I say? Okay, fine. Uh, let's get on, on with this. I'm <laughs> not enjoying my robot companion anymore. Uh, so here's the detail about the things, right? So participation, that doesn't just mean showing up um, in Zoom, showing up almost, it doesn't mean very much. It's, it's actually participating. Um, it is a very big class. So participating by speaking every single week, for example, is probably almost impossible. Um, though you can try, that'd be very nice. I like anything where you speak, that is good. But there's also the Zoom text chat. Uh, there's also the online forums. So there's places you can participate which don't necessarily mean talking in the actual sessions. And I know you might not be able to talk in the sessions for different reasons. Uh, you might not be able to have video on, though I really hope that you if, you, if you can, then please, please do. Some of you can't for different reasons. That's fine as well. Totally fine. But it's nice to have some people with video on because otherwise I feel like I'm just talking to my computer like I am now. Um, but in class, it's, that's worse. <laughs> um, this is not all about your feelings though <laughs> no it's not all about my feelings that's true but um, I want us all to have a good time and we all have a good time better if I'm having a good time okay wait that's that, that's true my robot friend now let's look up the next thing so assignment two I've tried to lay it out really clearly so like you only need to look at the bit you need to look at so um, in Week two to three, so after the session in week two, that's week two to three, you do this. In the D2L forums, in the section that's called, they call it discussion, and then they call it forums. But it's the bit that's called communication discussion in there. There's the forums. So there you'll have to make a post. I'll give you specific things to respond to about an ongoing creative project that you're already engaged in or which you can start now. So I want you to be doing a creative thing over the course of the course that you're talking about in these forums. Then how many, that's like three or four weeks later, then you'll be doing another post, again with particular prompts, talking about how that's going or how it's developed a little bit. And then three or four weeks after that, you'll be doing that again. 
I assess this thing by seeing, did you answer the questions? Did the posts offer some insights into your creative process? Were they clearly and engagingly presented? But I, we just want to know about the creative thing you're working on and some thoughtful, reflective thoughts about it. So there's no right or wrong answers at all. Um, honest reflection on whatever you're trying to do is the thing. It really is. Then there's also that overlaps with assignment three, which is responding to other people in the D2L forums. So when it's a week that's not the one where you're posting yourself, that's because uh, you're responding to what other people have posted. So in the week or two after you've created your own post, so that'd be in weeks three to five and in six to eight and in nine to 11, you should provide some thoughtful feedback to at least three other students about their posts. So in weeks three to five, you post feedback to three students. Then later in week six to eight, you post feedback to three different students. And then in weeks nine to 11, you post feedback to three more different students. So by the end, you'll have provided feedback to at least nine different students. So you look around at different posts. If a post already has three or more responses that it's already got enough of those, and please try to find and respond to ones that don't have so many responses already. I think that makes sense. Uh, the main thing is don't just say this was awesome or something like that about somebody's post. Of course, you can be nice about them because that's nice. So we like that. But it's essential to provide at least one thoughtful point of constructive feedback for the person to consider. So it might just be, have you thought about doing this? Have you thought about doing that? It, you know, you don't have to be rude about their work. And I don't want you to be rude about their work. I want you to give them a kind of like just a, a, a thing that they might be able to reflect on or learn from or something they could do a bit differently. And of course, they don't need to do what you're suggesting, but it's just a, it's just a thought. Um, you can say what you did like and then maybe something that could be a little bit better. I'll give you a bit more guidance about this as we go along as well. Don't worry about it at the minute. So the thing with the learning journal is, uh, normally, if we weren't in the middle of a virus pandemic, uh, I'd ask you to get an actual journal, a physical thing, which you would fill up and hand in. But we are in the middle of a virus pandemic, so uh, this time we'll do a digital alternative. You can decide what this should be, and it won't need any special software. You could, if you want, if you've got, if you can use these things, you could use Illustrator or InDesign or something else to make a nice PDF. You could use PowerPoint to make a nice PDF if you want. You could use Google Slides, but then treat the slides more like a scrapbook than a bullet point presentation. Same as if you're doing PowerPoint, don't use PowerPoint to make a thing that looks like PowerPoint, but you can use PowerPoint to make a thing that doesn't look like a PowerPoint and it's just a bunch of stuff. <laughs> like if you were doing a journal. You could do a WordPress blog if you want. You could make a video. Um, as it says here, you could embed some audio, like a song within something. But sorry, don't just do a thing that's just like loads of audio. Because if you recorded, say, 90 minutes of audio, which would be like, uh, you know, if you did eight minutes of audio a week, that might seem quite appropriate. But then we end up with a massive amount, about 90. I, can't, I haven't done the maths. Um, which would mean we'd have thousands of minutes of audio to listen to when it's grading time. And we, we can't do that. It's just too time consuming. So, um, so not pure audio. Look at all this stuff that's written down. I don't want to read it all out. I'm drawing your attention to the key parts. Uh, the point of the learning journal is that you add to it every week. As I've said, you're responding to the topic of that week, you'll get a prompt or a question each week to write about. This will involve some language or text or writing. You can't just, give us nice pictures because then we don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> we can guess, but we don't really know. And um, so because we're going to give you particular prompts and we want you to explicitly reflect on your creativity, you need to be using words or language to do that as well as any other wonderful visual material that you want to add. This is all written down here. It's written down here quite clearly. So if you're not, enjoying what I'm saying. Just read it here. This is clear. Um, one thing is you're bound to ask, how much do I do each week? That's a very good question. In the year when I did this, when it was just an actual physical journal, that we would say two letter-sized pages is about right. 
you know, you, you fill them up with interesting things, but not just full of text. Um, two pages, which include some text and some illustrations or graphics or whatever you've done. And so I'm saying, think about doing the equivalent of that in whatever medium you're in. And it's not always mega clear what that means. Like what is the equivalent of two pages in video? Well, here I tried to write an answer. I said one or two minutes of week per video would be, a, would be a video of 12 to 24 minutes, which sounds about right. But obviously we're interested in the quality of response rather than a particular quantity. If you had an intensely edited video, you could get a lot into a minute. If you've got a video that's just like you talking languorously into a camera, then that could take quite a long time and not have so much in it. And that wouldn't be as good. So it's a bit like how long is a piece of string, but just use your judgment to hand in that sort of amount. The sort of amount which is like two pages of journal. We assess this at the end by looking at does the journal contain interesting reflections on each week's assigned topic or question? Is it engagingly and clearly presented? And does it add up to a meaningful set of reflections or ideas about your creative self? Uh -huh. Are you reflecting thoughtfully on the stuff we're talking about? And if you are, then that's good. It's also nice if the thing looks nice. This is all the standard stuff that appears in a course guide now. Um, there's nothing very unique for this course here. Some of it is really important to look at, but I'm not gonna read it all out to you now. Do arrive on time. Look, I wrote this bit. The first 10 minutes are for arriving and making sure that everybody's technology is working because you often find that something's not working quite right. Um, so do use that time because that does often happen. So don't just turn up at 10 past 10. We will start at 10 past 10. I want you to turn up around 10 and get started, uh, you know, get connected. If you've got, you know, if you're fine at 10 o'clock, you can go and make a cup of coffee and come back again because we'll start at 10 past. But do make sure you're not just turning up at 10 past 10 and then discovering that you've got some technology problem because then that's no good. Are we finished? <laughs> um, well, yeah, nearly. Uh, there's just this bit. Course objectives. This is just a, this is a thing that departments are required to put into course guides. You can look at it if you like. <laughs> it's not very important. And that's it. That's the end of the course guide. Um, so. I feel scared now and overwhelmed. Oh. You feel scared now and overwhelmed. Um, but it's, it's honestly, it's fine. We'll talk about this all more again. I was just taking you through the course guide. It's quite a boring thing to do, isn't it? I was bored. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but that's all the stuff. You can read it yourself as well. You don't need to, you, do, you didn't need me dragging you through it. Uh, but I feel a responsibility to drag you through it to show you what's there and so you know where to look if you've got any questions about the course and what's going on. Um, even that thing about posting on D2L forums which sounded a bit complicated, it's fine, you know, week by week, it, you know, it'll just unfurl week by week so I'll tell you what to do each week, it'll be fine. Each week there's only one D2L thing to do and there's the learning journal to do every week and then by the end of your course that, that you, you've done it all, so that's great. There's not some big thing at the end and that's nice. All right, fine. If you feel a bit overwhelmed with information now, I'm sorry. Um, the point is it's all just there in the course guide and it's not that complicated really. Um, we have a weekly thing on Wednesdays. After each week, you will have a thing to do. Not every week actually. You may well have a thing to do on D2L. It's all mapped out in the course guide. And you'll need to do your learning journal in whatever format you've decided to do it. And that's all. And then by the end, you're done. It's good. Okay. So I hope that's okay. Um, this will hopefully be the least interesting screen based thing that you get from your creative self. Uh, but thanks for bearing with me. And I do look forward to seeing you soon.